I wanted to show you how to actually do this. Um, now, in this scenario, we didn't know immediately what type of uh, server it was, but we found out quite fast. And because of that, we found remote code execution, right, unauthenticated, that it was to... Um, that it was a auth bypass that pretty much gave us the payload, uh, let's see. Right here. And um, so we know that this works here. But what if it didn't? What if this was a custom application that we couldn't fingerprint and it didn't just tell us exactly what it was? So again, we know that this will work, so boom the SQL query validates the true and we get an auth bypass, right? Now, what if we chart something like this? Huh? Will this work? No. Okay, what if we use a different user but we still use a pound symbol? Will this work? Yes, it will, right? So, how will we go through this payload list? That's exactly what I will show you how to do it automatically to test for it, right? So that you see that, okay, this is, this is a web app that might be vulnerable to auth bypass. I don't really have much else to test and it just makes sense to check for it regardless. I know that it's not like the WordPress that if it was vulnerable to the auth, auth bypass, then I would find it e easily with like WP scan or, you know, stuff like this. So, yeah. Um, so, SQL auth bypass payloads. So, we can try this list first right there. See if it's reasonable. Uh, Yeah, fine. Let's save. Yeah. So this is pretty much the pillar right here. This one is reasonable. So we can pretty much do this. And then we can, the first thing that I will show you how to do is using Burp Suite to automate this. Now keep in mind that Burp Suite Community Edition is the only Burp Suite that's allowed, not the Pro one on the exam, which means that the actual brute forcing will be a bit throttled, but meaning it will be a bit slower, slower. but that's again. You won't need too many payloads to test regardless to see if it's vulnerable. So, and if you're not comfortable using Burp Suites, then uh, there is a free try hack me room. Pretty much just go and search uh, Burp Suite and it will show you how to set it up and the basics of how to use it, etc. But this video is focused on demonstrating this attack. So, so yeah, so. We need to set it on Burp Suite so that when I type something like admin, admin. It will end up right here. So here we created a post request. We can send this to repeater, send it again. And <laughs> okay, so the server actually reflects the SQL query back to us. This is obviously incredibly bad practice, but that doesn't really matter for purposes. So. Let me send this to Intruder by hitting Control i and then Control shift i to jump there. Now, the cool thing we can do, so a sniper attacks pretty much sets like one payload, uh, like so, and then you can add a payload list right there, and then you can focus this one. But uh, we want to use a pitchfork attack so that we can attack several different positions at once. So we need to copy this, uh, this list. And then we set this one, this position, and then we paste right there. And then we set a different position and then we paste again. So now we can pretty much just hit start and it will send this request and it will inject these specific values with the payloads that we set in the payload configuration. So let us start. Yeah, it says an attacks were being time throttled. So we can see the lengths and the status codes and the payloads. So we can click on one of these. See, this is the payload and this is the response. Hmm. So status incorrect, etc. 
So we can pretty much just let this one finish and then we can analyze the, the output once it's done. So now it is done. We can see at the bottom it says finished. So now the throttle list quite strong. So let's take a look at the bait right here. So 13.30.09 GMT. That's the request number long one. Let's go toggle it like this. So the last request is first. Now it says 13.14.54, right? So yes, almost two minutes just to make um, just to make just like seven to eight requests, but yeah, that's fine. This would be most, this would pretty much be sufficient for testing off by paths with uh, MySQL. So let's say, now let's analyze the actual, so all of the status codes, uh, the results. So all of the status codes are the same. Let us see if there's a difference in responses. Okay. But what length? So there's a decent difference in length. And there we go. Yeah. So this actually worked. So we see this payload right here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we see the payload right there. Just the simple so we see it. So that worked. Uh, so it seems uh, that, let's see, success. So I'm guessing all of these are successes. Yes. And all of these are failures, gotcha. So yeah. There we will, even this payload right here worked. <laughs> so yeah. That's the way that that's the way that you can use uh, Burp Suit for this. And uh, again, I would suggest you do this and then take a quick break and then come back to it, right? So now what I wanted to show you next is pretty much to do the exact same, um, but using something like f -Alpha. So, let's say, um, but this is actually going to be quite similar to just simple read forcing. So I'm going to use something like this. And then let me off bypass like shell. So let me take the uh, king. So let's go back to the request, right? So the... So let's see, let's send in your request. So admin, admin. This request is being sent to to this endpoint right here. So let us add that. Okay, and then the user and uh, the wordless father that we want to use will be this one. Now the uh, the post data is pretty much this, right? It's a post request, and this is the post data. So pretty simple post data. Mm. And then this is the method post request. This is just if we want to filter out the specific response. So we know that if it fails, like this is not valid, right? It still gives a a 200 OK response. So I'm just going to remove that. We can remove the threads a bit. And then this is the application or a content type. This is the follow or redirect. Um, I'm okay with that. 
So I believe this is correct. Let us try that. Hmm. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, I forgot to add uh, like a false value right there. So there were like, instead of taking two minutes, it took like two seconds, right? So we can filter. Uh, we can filter on. We can filter the words, I guess. So something like this we know doesn't go it. This is not a perfect way to do it at all. This is a bit messy. The reason why it's a bit messy is because it keeps showing like the different queries and the different output that you give it, right? So if we do something like <laughs> something like this, it will be a different uh a different response. Now, this is not too typical, but I believe there is a way with F of where you can um, yeah, I believe you can do something like this, where you can match response that does not contain the specific word. Right? So we can, for instance, do it with incorrect, I believe. So let's do that instant. So dash FR, and then incorrect. So there we go. Super fast like that. We were able to. Uh, we were able to pretty much get an auth bypass right, and we can try in the admin field as well. Mm. No, sorry, any password field. And we can attempt that and simply to see how the site behaves. So it's written to behave differently from the rest. And there we go. So there's an alt bypass and a password parameter as well. So yeah, hope that hope this video was helpful.